And welcome back, everybody, to the El Dorado's. The Road to Reno starts here. It's the 2015-16 Big Sky Basketball Media Days. Hi, everybody. I'm John Oglesby at the Big Sky Conference. We're joined by the head coaches of Northern Arizona, the head coach of the Northern Arizona men's team, Jack Murphy, the head coach of the Northern Arizona women's team, Sue Darling. First of all, it's great to see you both here. Coach Murphy, we'll start with you. Talk about some of the benefits that you see of having a neutral site tournament, not only for teams, but for fans. Well, I, I think it gives you an opportunity to plan ahead. You yeah. know, Reno being a destination city, you know, the fans from Flagstaff, they love to go to Las Vegas, Nevada, Reno, yeah. wherever it may be, so they can have the entertainment value away from the games and then also come to the games. So I think it's great for the fans, it's great for the teams and coaches because we know where we're going to be, we know what, that we're going to be going, and you can just focus on having a successful year leading up to that tournament. Absolutely. And Coach Schoen, what would you have to say about that? I couldn't be more excited. It's, uh, it, it's March Madness at its best, uh, 12 women's teams, 12 men's teams, and uh, all in one place. Uh, Reno is going to be fabulous hosts, and so we're going to be the only show in town, which I'm very excited about. So, uh, so no, I'm, I'm telling people to get their tickets early. Yeah, absolutely. You want to get those tickets early. Um, and again, the arena is just a block away, so yeah. it's an easy walk. But I want to ask you both about um, your last season's Coach Rowling, we'll start with you. You've had a steady improvement all of your time in Northern Arizona. Do you feel you're on the cusp of a breakout year for this upcoming season? We were really happy about uh, the way we finished last year. Um, we've been making consistent strides, like you said, uh, since uh, day one. And so year four, we're looking for uh, bigger and better and uh, to break into at least the top three this year. Yeah, I want to ask you, because you did an off-season uh, an off-season trip, over, not overseas, but uh, in the Caribbean, there. How would you how would you describe that as a team building uh, opportunity for the girls? Uh, it was a phenomenal opportunity, once in a lifetime, and uh, for many reasons. Uh, off the court, we did a lot of community service, uh, and uh, mo a lot, most of our kids had never been out of the country before, and so it was a phenomenal opportunity for them uh, off the court. But on the court, it uh, brought our team together. Great team chemistry opportunity. Great team bonding, yep. and uh, and then we you know we have these freshmen that we're going to count on a lot this year, so. They are now sophomores. I, I told them that was our mini season, their freshman year, and now they're sophomores. Oh, so wow. it'll help all the way around. That's a lot of fun. Coach Murphy, you guys make the CIT final, have a good run there um, throughout that postseason event. How did you feel that helped your team? Well, I think that it, it helped our program. Yeah. You know, it solidified our program in terms of the success that, that we've had during the regular season, especially in the conference during my three years. But then to get those first postseason wins under our belt in, in school history was fantastic. And we had two home games where the crowds just came out and really there was a buzz in Flagstaff about basketball. And uh, we're hoping, Sue and I, to carry that over uh, into this year because uh, you walk around town and people are excited uh, about basketball, whether it's men's or women's. So. We're excited about that and Flagstaff, that CIT run obviously helped us there. And the guys that we have coming back have some postseason experience now on the winning end, so which is always important. No doubt about that. Some good games coming up on both of your schedules. Um, Non-conference season is always such an important part of the year uh, for teams to kind of establish an identity. Um, Coach, how do you look at the non-conference season? Do you, do you look at it as a time to build? Are you looking for wins? Because every coach kind of views it a little bit differently. Well, you can never have enough wins. Yeah, but at yeah, the end yeah, of the yeah, day, you know, <laughs> you, you want to have the non-conference season mirror what's going to happen in the conference. And uh, we have a w wonderful conference for both women's and men's basketball. And so uh, we're, we have scheduled uh, a heavy schedule. It also has to do with uh, our the, the uh, where our, our program yeah, is right yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, to. Um, to schedule a little bit heavier than have we have in the past, and so we're excited about the opportunity and excited about the challenges. Coach, what do you feel in your non-conference? You, you know, we always look at the non-conference. We want to challenge ourselves. It's exciting for the for the young men to be able to play at like a number one Arizona. Yeah. We played at, yeah. uh, them a couple years ago, and they're number one in the country. This year, we're going to go to Gonzaga, Boise State. Both teams will probably be picked to win their leagues. Uh, early on in November, December, you're going to challenge yourself. So then, when you go to Missoula, you go to Bozeman, Pocatello, uh, Ogden, wherever it may be. They're not uh, afraid of the moment. So we want to throw their feet to the fire early on. We did it last year at Xavier with the first game and really took off from there. And uh, it's something that we, a strategy that we've used. Now, in mid-November, I might not feel as confident about that strategy, but it pays off in January, February, and March. Absolutely. We've got a couple questions for you both as we're joined by the head coaches in Northern Arizona, Jack Murphy, Sue Darling. Um, this is kind of a fun one. We've asked each coach. Coaching, obviously, we know. A lot of long hours, it's a lot of fun, but a lot of long hours, pretty intense work. 
What do you both do to step away from the game in the off season? What do you enjoy doing for hobbies? Coach Trowling, we'll start with you. You know, I, I took up rowing in the off season uh, this okay. year. So I go to down to Tempe Town Lake and okay. uh, I have a coach and uh, I just rode in my first regatta on this past oh. Saturday. So uh, my boat didn't flip, so it was a success. Hey, congratulations <laughs> on that. Coach Murphy, how about you? Uh, I have twin six-year-old girls yeah. and a uh, three-year-old son. So my wife and I have become very adept at Disneyland. Oh, yeah. We've gone every year that we've been in Flagstaff, and I like to say that that is uh, probably where we don't spend a majority of the off season, but we do take a trip there, uh, you know, in the spring and maybe even again before school starts. So that's been fun for the family and with the kids. Awesome. Um, last question, Coach. We'll, Coach, we will start with you. What's your message to your fan base as we get set here, less than a month away for season openers? I, I, I think that we're. We're in an exciting time at NAU, and obviously we're coming off one of the best seasons in school history, but that season's in the rearview mirror. And the guys that we have on campus now, we have eight freshmen. Um, they're working hard, they're getting better. Uh, hang with us because the better days are, are ahead. I mean, this is a group that can build off last season's success and really take us to new levels. Um, it just may not happen tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna take some time, but we're excited about the direction of the program and where we're heading. Coach Darling, how about you? Uh, I'd like to build on that. You know, uh, Flagstaff is now a basketball town, yeah. and uh, and so it's going to be a fun season. It's going to be an exciting season. We have a great core group of uh, seniors and juniors coming back, but we have some really excited, exciting freshmen coming in, and so uh, we're going to put it all together and start mixing them up tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we're excited about November 15th, which is our first home game against Hawaii. Awesome, awesome. Well, best of luck to you both this season, Jack Murphy, Sue Darling, the head coaches in Northern Arizona. We're going to take a short break, then we'll be back in just a moment with Montana State. You're watching the Road to Reno as it starts here at the El Dorado on the 2015-16 Big Sky Basketball Meet.